Why, man, he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus. And we, petty men, walk under his huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonourable graves. Men, at some time, are masters of their fates. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. Brutus and Caesar. What should be in that Caesar? Why should that name be sounded more than yours? Write them together. Yours is as fair a name. Sound them. It hath become the mouth as well. Weigh them. It is as heavy. Conjure with them. Brutus will start a spirit as soon as Caesar. Now in the name of all the gods at once, what meat doth this our Caesar feed that he has grown so great? <laughs> Age thou art shamed. Rome thou hast lost the breed of noble bloods when went there by an age since the great flood, but it was famed with more than with one man. When could they say till now that talked of Rome, that her wide walls encompassed but one man? Now it is Rome indeed, and room enough, that there is in it but one only man. <sighs> Why, you and I have heard our father say there was a Brutus once that would have brooked the eternal devil to keep his state in Rome as easily as a king. <laughs>